<laughs> Good evening, Hackology. Tonight we're going to be looking at a program called ORC and TAPL, which is ORC's programming language, which stands for the ORC programming language. It's not something from World of Warcraft. What I've done is I've done some slides, so I'm going to talk you through the slides and uh, let's get to it. If you don't find that funny, you'll probably find it funny by the end of the show. Okay, what is ORC? ORC is a, a language for processing text files. ORC was created at Bell Labs and it was first released in 1977. And it's named after Alfred Aho, Peter Weinberger and Brian Kernigan. Uh, then the ORC language is sometimes referred to as TUPL, which stands for the ORC programming language. History lesson over, ORC is um, available on most Linux and Unix systems by default. There's also a version for Windows available called GORG, which coincidentally is made by the Free Software Foundation and available at SourceForge. There is a link on the slide. Moving on to the basics. A file is treated as a sequence of records and each line is a record and each word represents a field. So how do we call ORC? ORC is called from the terminal window and we pass it in a pattern and a file name. We could also pipe information into ORC and then pipe it out into another application too. So uh, let's look at the first example. The first example is ORC print string one um, story.txt and the pattern is encased in single quotes and curly brackets. So what's that doing? Well this would print the first word from every line of story.txt to the screen. And if we look at uh, the second command on the screen, orc print string one comma string two from story.txt. So uh, that would print the first and second word from every line of story.txt and if we put a comma between the values it actually puts a space between the words when it um, displays them out to the screen. So, ORC can also be used to scan text files like rep so we could call ORC with a regex value in between two forward strokes and um, ORC single quote forward stroke the forward stroke single quote story.txt would return every line containing the word the so if the was on the line orc would print it to the screen okay orc with the small arrow in the regex value followed by the word the story.txt would return every line starting with the word the and likewise we can call orc with the dollar sign at the end of the regex word um, string uh, which would return every line ending with the word the. So okay, we can now reject words and we can bring back um, values at the start of the line and at the end of the line. We could also um, specify only to bring back numeric lines by specifying 0 to 9 and that would only return lines contain, um, containing numbers. And You need to put these in the square brackets and that's the dash in between uh, the numbers and the lowercase a to z on the bottom line which would only return lines containing lowercase characters. So moving on let's have a look at this regex. This regex here would return any matches with hello, he double l o, he triple l o, he quadruple l o and so on. So basically the, uh, the match on this one uh, is the preceding letter. So it looks for anything with L L L L L L L O, right? So any pattern that matches there will be brought back. Okay, so the next command here, we're using some uh, simple regex logic and the pipe symbol in between A, B, C and 1, 2, 3 basically stands for return this string or this string. So if the uh, line contains A, B, C, or if the uh, line contains 1, 2, 3, then return the line as a match. So it would return any matches with A, B, C, or 1, 2, 3. So you would get the, uh, 
examples on the slide. Now that we've looked at some simple regexes and how to return the values from the functions, uh, ORC also has some built-in variables, FS which stands for field separator, OFS which stands for output field separator, NF which is number of fields on the current line, NR which is number of records in the current file, RS record separator value, output record separator value, file name which is the current file name that's been processed and probably a few more. Um, so how can we use the variables? Well it's simple, we just reference them. So uh, we're calling ORC here and telling it to print NR, which stands for the number of records. And um, basically, because we're calling it as ORC processes every line, which is what the um, function is inside the curly brackets, it basically prints the line number for every line. So if there were 10 lines in your file, it would print 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now, uh, okay, so say if we wanted ORC just to return us the total amount of lines in the file, we would then need to call ORC um, after it has processed the file or, or output the display of the line number um, after it has finished processing the whole file. And uh, we can do that by telling ORC to use the uh, end function or end statement and uh, basically what this does is it tells ORC that once it's finished processing the file to execute the following command. So this is similar to word count dash L uh, which would tell you the amount of lines in a file. But uh, I thought it was cool that you could do this using ORC. So it's quite powerful and you can use this in shell scripting and likewise with the uh, end statement there is also a begin statement so the following uh, syntax here separated with uh, semicolons actually has a start which is prior to the file being processed and uh, the print function which is performed on every line of the file and then the end function which is performed after the file has been processed Okay, so as well as being able to do things before the file's been processed, while it's been processed, and after it's been processed, we can also use simple logic uh, with regex values. Now this following uh, ORC statement would only print line 2 from, uh, from story.txt. And the tilde symbol stands for, does it match the following uh, regular expression? So we are performing a, a regular expression here against one of ORC's internal variables to only print the line 2 from the text file. Okay, so we could also call um, some logic like this uh, with the regex value which would return lines 2, 12, 20, 21, 22, etc. So any line that contained the number 2. You can also use the exclamation mark with the tilde symbol to negate the match. So basically, if the line does contain a number 2, it will be omitted from the results. It won't be printed to screen. We can also use equal to, um, so we can you know, do a number comparison or not equal to as well. So that would print every uh, line apart from number 2. And that just about concludes the basics on ORC. I hope you enjoyed the awkward presentation, at least you can uh, laugh at my geeky jokes. Uh, we'll be doing a lot more with the terminal in some future episodes and I will make sure the slides are available on the show notes. Uh, there's also a bonus slide of awk operators. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. As always, have fun hacking and peace, we'll see you soon. <laughs>